What do we have here? Is this another addition to the Cranky Gun Reviews arsenal? I think it might be. Let's take a look at it and we'll walk through it together. Welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews, and I have a special treat for you today. This is something that I've been looking at for several years, actually, and I never really had a need for it. Uh, this is another one of those style guns that I've seen as a kid in all kinds of movies, westerns and things like that. The people on the stagecoaches always had a shotgun, side-by-side -side shotgun, break action, and they're called coach guns. So this is a Stoger brand coach gun. It's a very affordable, uh, and from what I've read online and what I've seen on YouTube, a lot of people use these for cowboy action shooting, especially the ones with the twin triggers like this one has. They said they're a little bit more robust than the single trigger model, a little bit easier to maintain and things like that. So I purchased a 20 gauge Stoger side by side. And the main reason I purchased the 20 gauge is because I have a lot of 20 gauge shells and because this is a side by side and uh, it's basically like shooting a bolt action because it's not a semi-auto, all of the recoil goes directly into the shooter's shoulder. These particular ones, this is not the premium model. So this does not have a rubber butt pad. It's more of a plastic with kind of a little bit of a grippy texture on it but it's really just plastic so I wanted something that was cool looking and also comfortable to shoot so I went with a 20 gauge I picked it up from Cabela's they actually did have a 410 in the same model a 12 gauge and a 20 gauge and like I said I picked the 20 gauge um, and I really like it haven't taken it out and shot it yet but Again, it's not really a super practical gun. I mean, you can use it for home defense if you keep it loaded with uh, buckshot or some other like double ball round or something. Obviously, it would be a very good home defense gun. You could still have some over penetration with it as it's a, you know, a 20 gauge. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's not a 12 gauge, but it still has plenty of punch. I actually use 20 gauge most when I do trap shooting or skeet or sporting clays because you could shoot hundreds of rounds and it doesn't hurt your shoulder. Still gets the job done. So as I started saying, it's not really a gun that I needed, and that's why I put off buying it for so long. But as of late, I've been looking more at getting collectible firearms that I've been interested in for many, many years for whatever reason. So some point in time, I'm going to start a video series about why I purchase certain firearms, and I've talked about it a little bit here and there. Um, this kind of falls in the same genre as single action revolvers, or in my case, revolvers in general, just Western movies and, you know, old classic movies where guys always had revolvers and they always had, you know, a, a lever action rifle and these shotguns. So Westerns is kind of where I got my love for side by side shotguns, lever actions and revolvers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my like. The reason I bought this kind of fits in the same genre, so I'll be right back. So all these firearms to me kind of fall in the same genre. I have the Stoger 20 gauge coach gun. I have my Rossi model 92 and 357 Magnum 38 special. And I also have my Smith & Wesson model 15 revolver. Even though this is not a single action revolver, this is a double action and much more modern than what you would see in a lot of the old cowboy movies. To me, the same principle applies of a wheel gun, five or six shots. Um, that's what cowboys would have been carrying. Again, the only single action revolver that I have right now is a, um, a Ruger 22. And it's, you know, it kind of fits in this genre. But what I think most people would have been carrying is a pistol and a rifle in the same caliber. So these both take 38 or 357 Magnum. Well, this is a 38 only, but. I can shoot 38 out of the rifle as well. So that's what I typically shoot anyway. And then again, a coach gun, which is what the uh, the good guys or the coach, coach drivers would have had. So there's my Wild West pattern collecting, if you would. And I'll do a more in-depth video on why I collect certain types of firearms um, later. 
I talked about it a little bit, Mossberg 500 shotguns, Mosin Nagants, and revolvers before, but I want to talk more about why I got specific firearms. I talked about that a little bit with my, um, my Colt Detective Special based on the Rockford Files, and there are certain movies that I've seen that had similar firearms to ones that I purchased. They may not be the exact models, but that's largely the history of what you grow up with, what you like as a kid is kind of what determines what you do as an adult. So a lot of these firearms that I purchased as an adult have come from desires from TV shows and things like that that I've seen as a kid. And I like to share that with some people. Um, you know, I think some people might find it interesting. I always get good stories back from people why they purchase certain firearms. So I like to hear your story. And, you know, there's at least a few people out there that like hearing my story, but I'm going to leave you with a parting shot of the Stoger Coach Gun.